To edit MIDI, you simply double click on any MIDI clip to open it in Edit View. You might want to expand it to get a bit more space in your view here. So here are the notes. I've recorded a piano part. Have a listen. You can see that each note can be played on the piano roll editor and that applies to any instrument that can receive notes uh, in a piano format. And down the bottom here is the velocity section. Now you can use the pen tool to edit the velocity of any notes and when you do that you'll see the intensity of the colouring of that note change both in the velocity readout and in the main readout here. So if you've got a note that's a bit loud, that one looks a bit loud to me, you can just drop it down. If you've got a note that's a bit quiet, you can just pull them up like that. Of course, when notes exist at the same time, you might sometimes need to select them individually to get access to them. You can edit the length of any note by picking it up like that. Like everything in Reason, when you move the notes, they obey the snap setting here. So if I was to set that to 1-4, those notes would only snap by quite large amounts. You will probably want to leave that set to something around about 116 so that you can change the length of the note without necessarily slipping out of time. You could turn snapping off, of course, and move it with complete impunity if you wanted. You can move notes around very easily. So this first chord is a major chord. If I was to move that note there, a semitone down, it would become a minor chord. Equally, if I move that note down, it, that would become a minor chord. So it's very easy to move notes about. You can duplicate them, select them, hold down the Alt key, That's a bit weird. I'm just going to undo that. You'll notice at the top here that if you select any note, you actually get a really helpful readout here of the position of the note, the length of the note, which note it is, and the velocity setting. So if you're having trouble when these notes appear together at the same time, if you just want to change the velocity of one note, you can do it manually. You can also move it manually if you prefer doing it that way. That's quite nice. A similar technique applies to working with rex loops. I've put a rex loop into the sequencer and I've double clicked it to open it in edit view. And instead of a piano roll, what we get here is a sort of slice view. But much the same kind of thing applies. So you can pick up slices. You can rearrange loops. You can change the length of slices. You can change their velocity. Of course, because this is a preset loop, all the velocities are the same, but I could mess with them using the pen tool. Change the sound of the loop, see what that sounds like. So that makes it sound a bit more interesting. And of course, you can zoom in and out on MIDI parts using these small controls at the top right here.